Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how I make sweet potatoes in the Nutribullet Steam and Blend Baby System. I did get a subscriber telling me that she did get a hard time trying to make sweet potatoes in here, so I'm going to show you how I do it. Now before we begin, I want to tell you that I did get a new camera, so you might see it kind of trying to focus here, so I'm so sorry, but we will get that figured out. Alrighty, first you're going to see me adding some water into the reservoir here. For the reservoir, I'm putting it at 25 minutes. The reason why is because sweet potatoes, potatoes in general, anything that has that's very thick in texture, I want to make sure it's cooked through all the way, especially frozen foods. I put it at 25 minutes. So you can see my sweet potatoes here are very small. They're basically the size of a fingertip. You want them small so that they steam through nicely. I also am recycling some jars here, so I will use that to store the sweet potatoes itself. Uh, make sure you're putting the lid on the reservoir because I did forget that. So if you don't put the reservoir lid on, it's not going to cook through the um, the blender because I have done that already. So if you don't put the lid on, it's not going to cook your food. Alrighty, and another of my subscribers said that she has a hard time uh, with getting the blender to work itself. So I am just going to do a walkthrough of how I put it together. These just came out of the dishwasher and I will say that the blender starts to stain orange when you're making a lot of sweet potatoes and carrots. So you might see a little bit of orange on there, but I'm, trust me, it's clean. It is sanitized. All right, we got Chef Mommy here with the blender cup, the little happy face. That's what I call the blender cup. Um, you are going to put the blades down into the blender cup. And make sure it's pushed all the way down. If it's not clicked down all the way, the top portion will not click down. And therefore, it will not click. So, uh, those clicks are very important. Trust me, I've done almost everything to make sure that this cup will not work. And then I start panicky thinking I broke it already. But it's, it's usually user error, honestly. Okay, now I'm holding the top portion of the blender cup. This is where the steam goes through. And then the flat piece is what separates the blender from the steamer. So you're going to want to click that together and I'm showing you where the steam comes out of right here and that needs to line up perfectly. There is a way that you can put this on that it doesn't click and line up and therefore it will not work on the blender itself and then it won't click through and then it won't work. So I will show you again, everything's going to click together. So you see here when I put that portion on the club, it clicks boom it clicks again so uh, just making sure you're hitting those clicks and then again when you put the blender cup into the main portion you're going to want the handle to point towards you and then there is um, a little side piece on the right bottom hand of that blender you have to push the handle all the way past that piece if you just stop it there it's not going to go through so you're going to want to push it all the way until it clicks back all right, I'm just doing it in slow motion for you guys. And again, the smiley face has to point towards you when you're putting the cup down. Um, so now I'm just doing it one more time for you guys. I'm going to put the sweet potatoes in. I'm going to put a little bit of water on those sweet potatoes to help activate the steaming, as you can see. And then we also see how small those pieces are just to make sure they're cooked through all the way. My six-month-old is still in the puree stage, so we're not doing anything chunky yet. So I'm putting a lot of water so that when it does blend, it's very smooth. Again, everything's clicking through. I'm showing you where the steam comes out. Everything's locked into place. The handle's going to be facing towards you. You're going to push it all the way down and click it all the way to the right. Boom. See? And uh, we're going to go ahead and turn that on. Alrighty, so I'm going to zoom in here and show you guys where the steam comes through. That is where the steam comes through, through that valve there. This one to the left is how it is going to come out. So it's very important that your steamer can breathe. If not, it's not going to work. Uh, we're going to turn that on and I have it on auto, meaning that when it does steam through, it's going to blend automatically. I don't have to pulse it myself. I don't have to wait by it. It's just going to automatically cook it and steam it. So I've had this system for about a month now and let me tell you what I've learned. What I've learned so far is that it blends actually pretty well. The steaming process is extremely hot. It should not be taken right off the pot when it's still warm. Um, please give it about five to 10 minutes because if not, it will explode. So like, for example, one day I put like three or four apples in there and it was filled to the top. 
and when I opened the blender, it kind of exploded and it burned me. So please don't make my dumb mistakes and make sure you're letting it cool down before you try to even open it because you are at risk of literally explosion. Um, this can get pretty loud and with my son, he does get a little jump scared. So um, just prepare yourself for that. And also, if he's napping and he's nearby, he will wake up if he hears it. So, just uh, warning you guys on the volume level. As far as cleaning go, it is pretty easy itself. I rinse it out right when I'm done with it. I open all the components and make sure I hit that with um, like a soft sponge before I put that in the dishwasher. And then when I put it in the dishwasher, it comes out clean. And then I also sanitize it maybe about once or twice a month. I just put it on the sanitized wash in the dishwasher. Um, so far I've made apples, I've made pears, I've made sweet potatoes, i made carrots in it. I haven't made anything as far as textured food yet or any meats in there yet, but I am pretty interested in it. My son is again six months old, so he's not in that stage, but I am very interested in moving him on. And I do want to thank everybody that has watched the first video on my Nutribullet Baby playlist. That video has about 1,200 viewers and I'm so excited to just continue my journey and try and make content, trying to be a Latina content creator and just building on that audience, I guess. Um, so if I do have a goal here, I do just want to make sure I get 1,200 viewers again because I want a consistent audience ship. I want to create a community. I want to build on my followers and just be uh, very accessible. I did return some comments back from other subscribers, so thank you so much for engaging with me. Um, I am done with the sweet potatoes here. And we're going to go ahead and pour it into my recycled jars. I'm showing you the consistency here. This was about half of a small um, sweet potato. And you can see it filled up two baby Gerber jars. So that will last him today, honestly, because he loves to eat. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe for more. Uh, if you have any suggestions on what I should make next in the Nutribullet, please let me know. And I will go ahead and tag you when I do that video. And again, thanks for watching. Bye, guys.